So let's pretend for a second that uh, you're running a fictional uh, electric car company. Uh, since Tesla and Vol Volta and all those guys are already taken, we're going to call it Pascal because, hey, why not? He was a scientist too, right? <clears throat> Next, we're going to try Bernoulli. I'm sure this is going to be all taken as well. So let's call it Pascal Motors. Okay, very nerdy jokes this morning. I'm in fine form. Uh, Pascal Motors, uh, because it's a awesome, a AI awesome. All right, let's pretend that it, you have your AI mechanic right here fixing the car because the car is like super cool. It requires a lot of maintenance. But of course, anyone who's ever had a BMW, uh, I am sorry for you. Um, you're gonna be you're gonna be in for some pain, out of pocket. All right. So one year of operation, you got a hundred potential problems. You got twenty actual problems. The benefit of identifying and preventing a problem successfully is a thousand bucks. Let's say you didn't get stuck in the middle of the road, did have your car towed, and you know, reputation of your Pascal Motors hasn't been suffered, etc. And then the cost of investigating a problem, in other words, taking the problem, taking the car to the shop, hooking it up to the AI and saying, aha, there's a problem. It's a hundred bucks. So let's say it costs you a hundred bucks to take it to the shop. If you identify the problem correctly, it saves you a thousand bucks, a thousand dollars. Everyone with me so far? All right. Then you have this onboard fancy AI because the car is AI awesome that can tell you that you have a problem and you need to take the car to the shop. Which of these three AIs, conservative, balanced, or aggressive, do you think is going to do the best? All right, so conservative, I think, is an excellent choice because who wouldn't want their AI to be precise and accurate? I mean, that's amazing, right? You have precision and accuracy at the same thing. But how about now? We actually plug the math in. So we say, send out 10 alerts, send out 30 alerts, nine problems found versus 15 problems found. Look at this. Your conservative AI is actually going to only bring you $5,800 in revenue. Your balanced AI is going to bring you 15000 Your aggressive just comes in at... Uh, at the second place. Now, the problem is, is AIs trained on accuracy are actually too timid. They try very hard not to be wrong, so they often leave a lot of money on the table. They don't take enough chances to send out an alert because they try very hard not to be wrong. Does that make sense? And the ones that are aggressive try to take, basically don't miss any possible uh, don't miss any possible way that you can be right. So that's the aggressive kind of AI. So what AI is actually asking here is which event is most likely to be a problem? But what you should be asking is a business question. How do I maximize revenue? Does that make sense? So when you just use data science metrics like accuracy, precision, and recall, you are ignoring the business side of the equation. And that is really the side that makes you money. Let's play this out a little more. You have four different outcomes. You have true negative, false negative, true positive, false positive. I'll just walk through it. True negative means you didn't think there was a problem. You didn't send the alert. False negative, there was actually a problem, but the AI didn't tell us. True positive, there's a problem. AI sent the alert correctly. In other words, you guessed it right. And false positive, the car is operating normally, but AI is being overly cautious. Send on an alert. So what you actually are looking at normally when you're trained AI on data science metrics is you're looking at this thing called confusion matrix on the left. All you're doing is you're counting the number of outcomes. True positive, true negative, false positive, false negative. And then it's just it's just the total, right? So hopefully you guys can see that. You, you just fill out this form and uh, you do your calculations. Total of 100 possible. So hopefully it's pretty easy. But what you should what you're going to be better off doing is doing something that is called a value matrix, which is correctly assigning outcomes based on value. So if you look at the math a little bit more, you can actually calculate what each outcome is going to cost you. And what I'm going to tell you is AI optimized on data science metrics alone 
is going to always, always underperform AI that takes into account your costs and benefits and your real world outcomes. So this is our previous example from the conservative balanced and aggressive. If things cost what we what we set, basically a thousand bucks for true positive and a hundred dollars for uh, uh, false positive. Now, pay attention because sometimes these things don't always add up, but we made it a really simple example. In other words, it's a mirror image of the two. True positive, false, false negative, both cost $1,000. True negative and false positive both cost $100. In your, your, your mileage may vary, right? And so that, that, could, that could be different, um, uh, could be different for you. But for our little experiment, we can try it. And this is why I wanted to show you this. If we change the values, this is what happens. Let's say it costs you $800 to take the car to the shop because maybe you lose all this time and effort. Like every time you take the car in the shop, you know, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, anyone who's ever owned a vehicle can tell you that, right? Taking a car, and especially Fiat 500, right? That's that's famous. I, I just, I just... All the Fiat fans, please, please don't, don't, don't hurt me. Um, anyway, the if you change the math this way, suddenly it turns out that the conservative model actually wins, because you try very hard not to be negative, uh, sorry, not to be wrong, is actually a very good strategy for your AI. You actually make sixty thousand dollars using the conservative, and balanced is is a little bit worse, but aggressive is really terrible. Because it doesn't, you don't make money at all. So it went from making sixty thousand to actually losing you fifteen thousand uh, six hundred, right? That's a huge difference. So if you didn't consider the cost and benefit, is is going to be a problem. What if the other way? What if not knowing the problem exists actually would make the car, let's say, explode or something, and that's that's going to cost you ten thousand dollars? Well, wow. This is a very different picture indeed, because here you want to be aggressive because it costs you a lot of money if you're if you miss a problem. So if a problem it is something you, you don't want to you don't want to miss, you want to go all the way to the right to the aggressive. So being aggressive and training the pro, the the AI on recall is going to actually be exactly what what you need to do. So if it costs you. If it, if it saves you $10,000 every time you find a problem, you want to look at every single problem. And so you will be making $175,000 if you use aggressive, but it will cost you twelve grand on the conservative. Hopefully you're starting to see that actually accuracy is complete and utter bullshit. Okay? Accuracy is bullshit. Train AI on value metrics and not on data science metrics like accuracy, recall, and precision. That is a waste of time in a real world.